YouTube. Uh, it's May the 6th and I think I've done really well so far. <laughs> um, I know it's only the 6th but um, if you watched my video yesterday on my beauty channel you would have seen that I said that I don't break out but look my face is so red today. I don't know what is going on. Um, I did have a hot bath last night but I don't think it would have caused me to be so red so hmm strange i really don't know it's not sore or anything but so i'm just going to upload the vlog from yesterday i didn't do it last night i was um really tired and chilled and i just didn't want to open the laptop or anything so i'm gonna upload that now and i am probably going to sort out my makeup um because it's an absolute mess so i'm going to quickly do that today and <clears throat> excuse me and i am going to answer some of the questions that were on that um in my book because i don't really think we're doing anything today so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to answer some questions that are in that book uh just a sort of get to know me type thing um i'm going to do a couple and then throughout the month i'll do a couple more as well and i'll just go for it slowly so yeah that's about it. All I've done today is literally got up, straightened my hair because it was too late to leave it um, wet and go to bed. It was too damp, so quickly dried it off last night. I'm using purple shampoo, so I'm hoping that it will get a little bit lighter as well. I left it on for 15 minutes last night, but um, it's, not, it's not too bad. So I'm just waiting. As you can see here, it's really light, but then there is some dark bits still. And that's just because my hair was um, previously red, so the bleach pulled a little bit um, coppery. But that's that's fine. I'll just keep using the purple shampoo. And I'm last night I used the herbal essence, the coconut one, which is a moisturiser one. Um, and I just left that on my hair for ten minutes, so it's nice and soft today. But other than that, I didn't do any crochet yesterday um i got the yarn out to do it but i can't remember what i actually did um waited for ian to get home then i did dinner that took about an hour um but yeah i didn't do anything yesterday so today i am going to answer some some of those questions sort my makeup out i think i'm popping out um, a bit later but um, I will try and get some crochet done just so I can make this look like what it's supposed to look like um, so yeah that's about it so far so um, I'll catch you in a little while so I'm just about to tackle all of this all of this and also I want to tackle this um, this has got, this this Makeup Revolution box has got bits and bobs in it. That's got jewellery, that's empty. Um, this is just all creams and everything. This I've just literally put here today just to put it up there. But there's also, I've got some boxes here as well. Nail varnishes, perfume, that's all Ian's aftershave and that. But um, here is, that's a dirty face wipe. <laughs> Um, here is just a few things as well that I want to tidy up and uh, I don't know I just uh, um, but this is the main thing I want to sort of sort out and I might even put all this over on there that up there has got my jewellery box in it uh, big teddy and perfume up there as well there's two shoes up there um, yeah, so I need to have a sort out and figure out what I'm going to do. But um, I've also got the laptop in the corner because I am editing as well. Um, so I just want to get that sorted. Um, my face is not as red. I've got the mirror just behind me. Um, it's not as red at the moment. It might look a bit redder in the camera, but it's not as red at the moment. But... Um, I will put some cream on I think just to try and calm it down a bit but um, I'm gonna get on with that so wish me luck and I will update you as I go along so yeah wish me luck 
so this is the progress I've made so far I have organized it a bit better um, in here is just spare bits of makeup and a pencil sharpener and um, here is all my eyebrow stuff lips up here is all like my foundation powder primer then here is my highlighter bronze uh, contour and and blush um, in these three drawers is just eyeshadows um, and at the bottom is lipsticks as well as my lipsticks that are up there and these are the little Avon samples that I want to try and use up and I have one to go in that gap there and then I have another one there as a spare my brush I really I haven't got a place for that at the moment this is all my mascaras my eyeliners spare brushes these are my everyday brushes so they're what I use every day and I also was doing here the nail polish I've just kept there and I've just put a mirror there and I've kept the cotton bud thing and up here I've put that wooden thing with all creams and hairsprays and all different things here is the body milk that I use every time I get out of the shower um, a soap and glory righteous butter I haven't opened that yet because I want to use that first and this is just all like creams and bits and bobs as well um, at first I did put that down there put that up on the shelf over there but it just didn't look right so I put it back I put all the teddies up there but it didn't look right so I've just basically left that sort of how it is just put everything in that box and then here just sort of tidied up a little bit more um but yeah that's it so far I'm now going to make a cup of coffee it's half past two it's taken me ages whenever I tidy up I am so indecisive where to put things so I'm going to sit down make a cup of coffee put YouTube on watch Erin and whoever has uploaded and I'm gonna do a bit of crochet I really really am this time um, but other than that I yeah I'm just gonna make a cup of coffee and that's it because I'm absolutely shattered already um, I've already made the coffee I have lied I already have made myself a cup of coffee so I am just going to I have also cleaned the kitchen and I've cleaned the bathroom so they're the two rooms in the house that I can't have dirty or anything like that they've got to be clean um, and when I go around other people's houses I get funny about things like that as long as, as, long as it's clean it's fine um, but yeah so they're for me they're the two rooms that if they're tidy I'm, I'm not really or clean I'm not really bothered about anything else as long as it's not dirty um, there's a few bits of mess everywhere I don't really doesn't really bother me but I've just sat down going to do some crochet and put YouTube on and chill for a bit um, I'm just waiting for Ian to ring me to say to meet him at his mum's so yeah I'm gonna chill and my back is killing me but hey ho that's life anyway I'll catch you in a little while um yeah if you ever wonder what this is it's a hula hoop it's a fitness hula hoop and I can't hula hoop um, I did try and I tried for about three weeks and I can't hula hoop but I think I'm gonna get back onto it um, in the week or next week and give it another shot because I'm going on holiday um, we've booked to go to Malta so that's in I think it's nine weeks time so yeah I need not that we'll ever have a beach body probably a beached wow body but like I said I don't care what people think of me if you don't like what you see don't look um, yes I do wear a bikini when I'm on holiday it's not a skimpy little bikini no but it's still a bikini and I don't care so that's that's just the way I think of it I am I am confident in my body but there is times where I do feel a bit ugh. um and I was just saying to my friend the other the other was it last week week before that I feel bigger than I actually am but I don't know whether it could be 
it could be anything it could be that just have eaten too much and I don't I just really don't know I, I've but sometimes I get like that and other times I feel completely different so it all depends but other than that I'm gonna stop rambling on and get something done um I'm happy I've got that done today even though I'll probably change it I'm like that I'll do things and I think oh, I prefer, prefer it how it was before but it just seems like there's a lot more room on that shelf now so but yeah so I'm gonna go and I'll catch you soon bye hi guys um so I'm going to drop the pen on the floor anyway I'm gonna answer two of the questions that I have on my list um, I've asked in my first video let me just take those off a second I asked in my first video for anyone to um, send me questions or anything you want to ask me just leave in the comments down below and I will add it to my list and I have done that um, so the first question I'm going to answer was from Grace which um, on YouTube her page is GP GB Maltese um, and I got really excited when I found or heard about you Grace because I thought you was Maltese because obviously, obviously the name and everything um, and my other half is Maltese and it was like oh there might be someone in Malta that <laughs> we can like um, I can speak to um, but then I found out that it was uh, a nickname. So, but anyway, the first question I'm going to answer, and the question that she sent me was, what do you, I prefer making the most? Um, and she put uh, blankets, arigurami, clothes, and arigurumi, clothes and things like that. Um, to be honest, I enjoy making anything. It's the sewing up that I hate. Um, if I didn't have to sew up, <laughs> if I didn't have to sew up, then I would probably make so much more. Um, even though I'm continuously doing things, I look at things and think how much sewing up has it got. I hate sewing up. Like the unicorn that I did, I hate, I just hate sewing up. It really, really does get on my nerves. Um... I love the actual crochet and I have got some on the go here and I was just going to answer some questions while I'm doing a bit and I thought to myself uh, obviously this does go up on both my channels um, and on my beauty channel you all know that I crochet anyway so I thought um, I would just answer the questions while I'm doing a bit of this and to be honest, I prefer, years ago when I first started knitting, I preferred to do baby clothes uh, just because they were quick, easy, um, it was quick gratification and it was a finished project that I could get done in about a week or just over a week at first and then the quicker I got, I would probably do a cardigan in three evenings and this is back when I was working full time um, so I would get a whole cardigan baby cardigan um, up to about six month old done in a whole e uh, not a whole evening in about three days so it was that's what I enjoyed doing I had a few baby babies in the family that I could make for and it was it was just something that I enjoyed and I enjoyed seeing the babies in the things and if there's ever a baby in our family now I knit or I crochet for it um, and I like making the toys and I like making the toys because they can be for anyone and I do try and get the stuff in that has been certified and I do mainly sew on eyes and things like that so I have used safety eyes um, I don't use them very often I think I've only used them twice now um, and it's not something that I uh, ever did I just used to sew on eyes or um, if it wasn't for a baby then I would use tiny little buttons for eyes and things like that so I do enjoy doing ar arigurumi and things like that but I also really enjoy making things for myself because 
I like that I can wear them. It's handmade. I've done it. Um, and I, I appreciate what I make myself. I don't know whether other people appreciate what I make. I really don't know. I just do it anyway. I enjoy it. Um, like I say, a ball of wool isn't really expensive. I don't buy expensive yarn for babies. It is soft. It's not scratchy. Um, it's like this Robin. I don't buy this for babies. It's too rough, too scratchy. I try and buy Stylecraft or New Fashion or something like that because it's a lot softer. Um, but blankets... Mm, I only really make them if it like that cow the Sophie cow or I'm doing my temperature blanket I would not sit there and make a whole full-blown blanket just because I wanted to um, I'm doing the temperature blanket because it's a year-long project obviously and I do between seven and ten rows at a time because just dot that jot down the temperature so I think the, the thing that I enjoy making the most is garments. Um, just because people can get wear out of them. But then saying that are groomies, if, if I give them as a toy, then I just enjoy making things for people to get enjoyment out of them. And to, um, for them to get really excited about something I'm making or if it's a gift. The last couple of things I've made have been gifts and the people that have received them they've absolutely loved them so that's what makes me feel happy and if I thought people weren't happy with what I was doing or if I got a couple of orders and then people were like hmm I wouldn't do it I would think oh well my work's rubbish then I'm not gonna bother my work is not perfect as I've said before I'm, I'm making a top at the moment and there is so many errors in it and mistakes but the mistakes are my mistakes it's a top for myself and yeah, that's it like I don't care what it looks like at the end of the day it's the the mistakes make it personal to me so yeah that that's that's just that so yeah I'm, I, I think that anything that is appreciated and I will make so it's a very very hard question to answer um and I'm gonna throw it back at you Grace what do you prefer making um, because I I find it very hard because I do make a lot of different things and I don't just keep myself to one certain thing um, and I, to be honest I've never knitted or crocheted for charity before and I know a lot of people are doing that at the moment and I've never knitted or crocheted for charity but um, yeah I just yeah so I throw it back at you Grace <laughs> the next question I'm going to answer is um, do I have a nickname I have plenty of nicknames um, one of them is Nisi and the reason for that is because when I was little obviously my name's Denise um, when I was little my parents um, well my mum used to call me it not very often but then when I met Ian and his nephew and niece were tiny they used to call me Nisi and it's just stuck everyone calls me Nisi um, it's literally Auntie Nisi that's that's my name and I don't mind it it's not a, it doesn't bother me um, I quite like it and I even say come come, come see Auntie Nisi and things like that so it's like that is that is just stuck um, another name that I got as well is I was at a friend's house one day we was making a cake and I was mixing the the the, the um, cake mix and we had to do a lot of cake mix it was a big car we was making from our other half and there was loads of we had to make like loads of cakes to to stack it up and everything and my arm was absolutely killing me <laughs> and my mate said to me you look like you do, you've got poo face and I was like what she went it looks like you're trying to go to the toilet I was like oh thanks so then that's just stuck so yeah my nickname as well is poo face and it's only a couple of people that call me that um not many people know it either to be honest but yeah that that is another nickname of mine um any other nicknames um 
not really um they are they are my two that I can actually um say that that is my nickname a few people call me den which that don't bother me um but yeah they're the they're the the main they're the main nicknames that I've got I've got plenty more of other questions that um need to not need to be answered but that I will answer as I go along um I might only do one at a time because obviously this is taken a bit longer than I thought but yeah I'll probably do one at a time and if you've got any questions you want to ask me then just leave a comment down below and it can be anything as long as it's okay for me to say <laughs> um but yeah so just ask me anything um I will leave it here because obviously it's gone on for a little bit longer than I thought um so I'm just sit here sitting here crocheting and um, watching a bit of YouTube, Karen's on at the moment, and I'm watching her, her haul from Grace, and Grace, you've sent her some lovely things, you really, really have, um, and the yarn is looks absolutely beautiful. Um, I was thinking of um, getting a Karen cake, but I'm still in two minds, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I wouldn't know what to do with it, so I don't just want to buy it just to hold it, <laughs> really, um, but yeah, so I'm going to get on and do this, and I will hopefully catch you in a bit with anything else that I'm doing today, so sorry if it's been a bit long, um, but yeah, so I'm going to get on, I'm going to do this, and that's about it really, I haven't really got anything else planned as of today I'm just waiting for to get a call from Ian to let me know where he's what he's doing uh, and that so yeah I will catch you in a bit I'm just in the car ready um Ian's dad rang and said that Ian is um leaving where he was to go to there <laughs> um to fix something in his car I don't know um I've got a ladder that Ian's dad wants and so on and so forth um and i think we might be going out for dinner i'm not sure but ian wanted clothes so i've got those as well um yeah that's about it i've still got my glasses on my head i only just realized and i've really hurt my hand bringing the ladder down mm, that's really sore but so yeah i will update you on where we're gonna go um but i'm gonna go to ian's mum's now I'm just in my car park about to leave so yeah that's about it catch you in a bit hi guys so it's about 10 o'clock yeah five to ten and i've just literally come out of tesco we went to i went to ian's mum's and we went for something to eat and i've just popped in here to get a few bits for tomorrow because i just want to have a lazy day tomorrow so i thought while i'm out and about i'll just go now and get dinner for tomorrow needed some drink for indoors as well so but i'm going to sign off here because i'm going to go home and i'm going to try and watch a little bit of sean's crazy corner and um yeah that's about it i'm just gonna go home get my pajamas on and do nothing really um yeah i've did do a little bit more progress on my top that i was making um i took that with me and just sat there and done a little bit of that and I think I've done two rows where two rows is like quite big so it's not too bad I'm just in um, the ground floor of Tesco's and it's empty even upstairs was empty so it was really nice just to go around and, and get what I wanted without having to push around and whatever so the only thing that going at this time of night the shelves are normally quite empty and it is a pain in the bum um, but I suppose they're not going to restack the shelves um, while they're still open. They'll probably do that tonight for tomorrow. But yeah, that's all I've got to say today. So thank you for watching. And I hope you liked my uh, me answering them few questions. Sorry if it was a bit long. I didn't expect it to take that long. And I was going to try and cut it down. But I've listened to it back or I've watched it back and there's nothing that I can really cut out. So, um, 
I will in future just try and answer the questions a bit more quickly or a bit more in brief um, but if you do like me answering the questions like that then just let me know and if you think that they should be quicker then also let me know as well because I can do it either way I actually went out for dinner with glasses on my head I, uh, I didn't realize they were still on my head so yeah but never mind um, so yeah I'm gonna sign off I'm gonna stop rambling on and go home and get in my PJs and just um, I'll probably go on the laptop and watch Sean's crazy corner for a little while so yeah that's about it to make myself a nice cup of coffee and sit down but thanks for watching and I shall see you in tomorrow's vlog see you later